you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries november 29th first sunday of a advent season let's all ask god's blessings a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark chapter 13 verses 33 to 37 beware keep alert for you do not know when the time will come it is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge each with his work and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch therefore keep awake for you do not know when the master of the house will come in the evening or at midnight or at cock crow or at dawn or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly and what i say to you i say to all keep awake this is the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends we begin today a new church year so we can wish each other happy new year as usual we begin the year with the four sundays of the advent leaping up to christmas advent is a word we use in ordinary english and it comes from a latin word which simply means coming so we speak of the advent of winter or the advent of the holiday season the first coming is the one we will celebrate at christmas the coming of the son of god as a human being born of mary is near stable at bethlehem in this coming that the first reading of from isaiah looks forward to with anticipation written for the sake of your servant oh that you would turn the heavens open and come down cries the prophet isaiah why does he make this call because we desperately need our god we had long been rebels against you we were all like people unclean all that integrity of ours like a filthy clothing we have all withered like leaves and our sins blew us like the wind away and another coming that but there is another coming we must be deeply aware of it the birth of jesus in bethlehem was an event in the past a historical event but there is the coming of jesus each and every day into our lives this is ongoing pre- presence which reflects the ongoing presence of our creator since the first moments of our universe took its beginning billions of years ago he comes in every person in every experience in every happening let's not be so busy looking back at the christmas event that we fail to be aware of his presence here and now so st paul tells the christians of corinth in today's second reading rejoicing that jesus has already come and it means for our daily lives I never stop thanking God for all the graces you have received through Jesus Christ. I thank him that you have been enriched in so many ways. Paul goes on, the witness to Christ Christ has been strong among you so that uh, you will not be without any of the gifts of the spirit while you are waiting for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. That brings us to the third coming when jesus at the end of time will come to take all creation to himself yes we need the help of jesus now so that we can be fully ready to meet jesus christ when he comes to call us he will keep you steady and without blame until the last the day the day of our lord jesus christ so the gospel today reminds us of the needy need to be ready to be alert to be awake not sleep we have no idea when lord will come to call us 
every day in the papers we read of people being snatched away by accident car crashes corona sudden illness jesus is like a householder who has gone abroad he has left his servant that is you and me in charge of his affairs each one with his own task what is my task my role in this world amen may god bless us